Sir BJ is here. Welcome back again to my channel. So, dahil marami nagre-request sa mga estudyante ko last school year, so let's proceed naman tayo sa Math 10. So, Grade 10 naman na Mathematics. So, simulan natin sa lesson number 1 which is the arithmetic sequence. So, before that, kung di nyo pa napapanood yung basic rules ng 4 operations ng integers, ilalagay ko sa description box yung link para mapanood nyo. Ayan. So, simula natin ang ating lesson about the arithmetic sequence. So, ang sabi, a sequence in which the difference between the two successive terms in a constant, D, where the constant, so, niname natin siya as D, is called the common difference. So, according to sequence, yung difference daw ng two successive terms. So, laging tatandaan, pag arithmetic sequence, ang operation lang na gagamitin dyan, it's either addition or subtraction. Kasi kapag multiplication and division, yun yung tinatawag na geometric sequence. Yun yung next na lesson sa grade 10. Okay, so there are two types of arithmetic sequence. First is the finite or finite sequence. Siya daw ay has a first term and then last term. So given si first term and then si last term. So ang pangalawa naman nating type ng arithmetic sequence which is the infinite. Pag sinabi natin ng infinite, has a first term but no last term. So, ibig sabihin, walang binigay na last term. Kayo yung tutukoy. So, gamit yung formula ng arithmetic sequence. And then, um, ano sinasabi na? Endless. Yung sa infinite. Okay, magbigay tayo ng unang example about arithmetic sequence. So, we have 2, 4, 6, and then 8, and 10. So, meron tayo dyang 5 terms. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, and then fifth term. Yun yung tawag sa kanila. By term. Okay. So, ang sabi sa arithmetic sequence, laging tatandaan. Ang common difference nila para malaman, it's either mag add ka or magsusubtract ka. Yun yung, yun yung rule sa arithmetic sequence. So, dito, from 2, first term, to second term, naging 4. From 4, second term, naging 6 into third term. So, sa tingin nyo, ano yung um, inad para makuha yung sunod na term? So, siguro, matik yan, kitang kita. So, ang ating common difference, yun yung sinasabi kanina na constant na i-add. So, constant, hindi magbabago. So, ibig sabihin, add lang ng 2 para makuha yung sunod na term. Yan. So, kukunin natin yung 6 term. So, matik yan. Add lang tayo ng 2. Kaya magiging 12. Okay, next example. We have the sequence 24, 14, and then 4. Kanina, ang operation na ginamit natin as a common difference and then the constant na in-add natin by um, knowing the next term is positive 2. How about this one? So, ito naman, kitang kita na kapag 24 to 14, so hanapin natin yung common difference niya. So, paano natin makuha yung 14 kung meron tayong 24 dito? So, yung another side ng arithmetic sequence is um, subtraction. So, pag minus natin ng 10, ang makukuha ay positive 14. So, ayan, meron akong um, tutorial about adding and subtracting of integers. So, lagay ko na lang ulit sa description box. So, 24 minus 10, makakuha tayo ng 14. So, ganun din, kapag ako natin yung common difference neto, negative 10 pa din. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot nyan ay positive 4. So, kung kuha natin yung 4th term, i-minus 10 lang natin yung 4, positive 4. So, ang sagot ay negative 6. So, ganun yung pagkuha ng um, next term and then malalaman natin yung common difference ng sequence. Okay. So, arithmetic sequence can be enumerated in the following manner. 
So, a sub 1, automatically, a sub 1, that is our first term, a sub 2, second term, a sub 3, third term, a sub 4, the fourth term, and then so and so forth. So, may kita naman natin kapag a sub 1, atin yung first term, matik yun. Binaka, given. Kung para daw mahanap natin yung a sub 2, so a sub 1 plus the difference. Yung sinasabi ko kanina. And then a sub 3, a sub 1, so kailangan pa rin natin si first term plus twice the common difference. So yung constant na ina-add natin kanina. And then a sub 4, a sub 1 pa din plus thrice the value of the common difference. And then hanggang sa matapos, ganun po. Okay, so first example. So the question is, determine if the sequence is arithmetic or not. If it is, find the common difference and the next three terms of the sequence. So una natin gagawin, hanapin na muna natin yung common difference. Again, kapag arithmetic sequence, ang operation lang nagagamitin as the common difference is addition or subtraction. Pwede tayong mag-add, pwede tayong mag-subtract. So, sa tingin natin, negative 4 up to positive 3. So, ano kaya yung common difference? So, kung susumahin natin, gagamit tayo ng ating number line. So, alalahan natin yung number line. Okay. From negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Para mas papadali. So, gamit ang number line, ilan kaya yung makukuha nating common difference from negative 4 up to positive 3? So, bilang lang tayo kung ilan yung hakbang. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ibig sabihin, papuntang right, positive siya. So, mag add tayo ng 7. Let's check. Negative 4 plus 7 so, ang sagot ay positive 3. We have different sign, subtract, then copy the sign of the largest number. So, kung gamit kayo ng number line, mas madali nyo maintindihan kung ano yung common difference kapag ganyan lang yung given sa so, umpisa. Okay. Okay, tinan nga natin kung arithmetic sequence siya. So, ang tanong kasi, if determine daw kung ito daw ay isang arithmetic sequence or not. Kung ito daw, arithmetic sequence, syempre hanapin natin common difference, and then find the next three term. Okay, next. Ito. So, 3 and then 10. To get the value of 10, positive 7. So, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Correct. And then, 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So, it means, kapag constant, Yung ating common difference, hindi nagbabago, tinatawag natin siyang arithmetic sequence. So, um, follow-up question, ano daw po yung next three term? We're looking for the value of the next three term. Okay, if we add 7 again, so it would be 24. And then, add natin by 7, equals to 31. And then, add natin by 7 is equal to 38. So, ganun lang yung pagkuha ng next 3 term kapag alam nyo na agad yung common difference. Ayan. So, try nga natin yung kaninang ano, ibang manner. So, a sub 1. Para makuha doon si a sub 2. a sub 1 plus the common difference. So, ano yung a sub 1 natin? Ganun pa din, 4 a negative 4 plus 7 is equal to positive 3. So, ito siya. Ayan. O kung siya, A sub 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kung so, 7 term. 7 term, A sub 1. So, plus 6. Di, bakit naging 6? Kasi pang 7 na natin siya. Yung isa ay first term. So, ibig sabihin, first term natin is negative 4 plus 6. Common difference is 7. So, 42 minus 4. So, the answer is, so, ang ating 7 term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is 38. So, equal lang natin siya dito sa may taas. Ayan. The next and the last question is, write the first 5 terms of the arithmetic sequence with 
as the first term with the common difference of negative 2. So, hanapin daw natin yung, yung first 5 terms. Gamit daw na common difference is negative 2. Okay, so ang sabi daw, So, ang sabi daw, with arithmetic sequence with 5 as the first term. So, ang first term natin ay 5. So, ang a sub 1 natin is 5. Okay. O, kung ganitong titignan, kung ipoproceed lang tayo sa um, addition or subtraction of integers, 5 with a common ratio of negative 2 para makuha yung next term, add lang natin si negative 2 by 5. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Ayan. 3 minus the common difference 2 which is 1. And then 1, add by the common difference of negative 2, negative 1. And then, negative 1, add by negative 2, so same sign, add lang natin. So, magiging 3, and then keep natin yung sign which is negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, the 5 terms of, the first 5 terms of the sequence having 5 is the first term and then the common difference of negative 2 so 5, 3, 1 and negative 1 and then negative 3 so sana may matunan kayo yung next video ko is gagamit na tayo ng formula so don't forget to like and then subscribe this channel and then hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa upcoming videos so God bless